The U.S. has, of course, been a long ally of Israel, with relations seemingly getting stronger since Donald Trump took office. Now, as Caleb Mopin explains next, there's plenty of intrigue on just how close the ties between Team Trump and Israel really are. Collusion is a popular accusation to throw around these days. And a lot of what we're hearing, working with a foreign government, receiving money, is what the Trump team did with Israel, like undermining the policy of a current administration in favor of a foreign government. Michael Flynn, Trump's former national security advisor, admits he called Russia and asked them to delay a vote at the UN Security Council that Israel didn't like. On or about December 22, 2016, a very senior member of the presidential transition team directed Flynn to contact officials from foreign governments to learn where each government stood on the resolution and to influence those governments to delay the vote or defeat the resolution. Flynn informed the Russian ambassador about the incoming administration's opposition to the resolution and requested that Russia vote against or delay the resolution. Now, we don't know who engineered it, but take a look at this video of Chaim Sabin, the Israeli billionaire, and Jared Kushner, Trump's son-in-law. Seriously. You and your team uh, were uh, taking steps to try and get the uh, United Nations Security Council uh, to not go along. This crowd and myself want to thank you for making that effort. So thank you very much. And then there's Sheldon Adelson. Now, he's an Israeli billionaire newspaper owner, and he's also a top contributor to Israeli lobbyists bankrolling their activities. Well, he threw in $5 million to contribute to Donald Trump's inauguration. Now, there's money and also personal chemistry. The Trump family is quite close with Benjamin Netanyahu. According to the New York Times, Netanyahu even borrowed the bedroom of Jared Kushner when he was sleeping over at his mansion in New Jersey. Now, the relationship is no secret. Bibi has even bragged about it. Can I reveal, Jared, how long we've known you? <laughs> well, he, he was never small. He was always big. <laughs> he was always tall. But I've, I've known the president and I've known his family and his team for a long time. So where has all this close and sometimes not so open cooperation gotten us? Well, Donald Trump has now recognized Jerusalem as Israel's capital. Now, this move is very pleasing to Israelis, but it's quite explosive for the region. But no one is keen to shout about this blatant teamwork, unlike some other country that's constantly in the headlines. Caleb Maupin, RT, New York.